Hi, today we're in Los Padres National Forest. It's the middle of July. We're gonna look at this beautiful shrub here. Of course, this is a manzanita. This is a big berry manzanita, Arctostaphylus glauca. All right, and it gets his species glauca because the leaves here have this grayish color, little green gray, and that's called glauca. Okay, also he's a hairless, and his stems, beautiful red stems, they're also hairless. If there are hairs on them, I would say this is a Arctostaphylus glandulosa, which is our Eastwoods manzanita. So this guy here, he's a big berry. He's a glauca. He's got berries on him. Let's see if we find some berries. Here we go, right up here. There's berries here. They're pretty big. That's why he gets the name Big Berry Manzanita. So let me tell you a little bit about this plant here. So it grows in California, from Oregon down to Baja. And he's a, he looks very different all up and down the range. This is a beautiful, perfect example. Look at that. Wow. He can grow about 20 feet tall. And his flowers, they come through about November through April. And then today's flowers represent next year's fruit. So Arctostaphylus comes from the Greek word Arcto. That means bear and staphyle, which means a bunch of grapes. So Arctostaphylus means a bunch of bear grapes. Where the bears eat the grapes, or whether it just means a big bear of grapes. I'm not so sure. Look at these guys. Wow. So humans, you could eat this plant. It's a great uh, for pain and discomfort. Treats headaches, sores, and even poison oak. And the fruits, you can eat those too. Make little uh, manzanita lemonade. So these plants are kind of special for pollination. So they're buzz pollinated by bumblebees. So we don't have any flowers here, but the bumblebees would bumble around and their vibrations will release the pollen from the flowers. Hey, look at that. Little tiny, tiny little flowers. Okay. It's got this great red bark that everybody loves. Look at this smooth, perfect bark. So each year it sheds the old bark. See how it's shedding here? And that helps keep the parasites out. And then underneath is this red bark that you'll see in the following year, it'll shed again. So every time you see a branching, this is super branching, obviously it looks like a big cluster of mega branches. Anyway, the branches come, come from the flowering. So every time it flowers, it'll interrupt the branch and then a new branch will come out where the old flower was. So the flowers kind of dictate how this guy branches around. Look at this. Right here. Check that out. Super cool branching. You peel off the old bark. You get that beautiful red smooth bark. Wow. You can make some cool stuff with this plant. It's a manzanita. Glauca. Right? Arctostaphylus glauca. Big berry manzanita. Beautiful, beautiful leaves. Glauca leaves. Let's take a look, let's look at those berries. Let's find some. Ah, here we go. Right. Oops. Got this beautiful, beautiful berry here. So I'm not going to eat it, but um, you can mix this up a little manzanita fruit uh, cocktail if you wanted to. There you go. How about that? This guy's fantastic. He lives up here 
all along the hillside, mostly on the other side with our chamise bushes. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.